Hey guys, Tim here, covered in cobwebs, dirt and dust. Um, thought I'd take a second and get you a new video. Uh, apparently some of you want to see that. Um, nobody online, but people in my real life have been wondering why I haven't done more. So I'm gonna shoot one. Um, been extremely busy, had a lot going on. It's been birthing season. We've had babies all over the place. Um, rabbits, baby chicks, pigs. Um, sadly, our last litter was a disaster. The, uh, the sow was not doing too well. We not, we're not sure what happened, um, but she, she farrowed four what they call mummies, which are poorly developed or developed and started redissolving. Um, anyway, it's bad and sad. Um, she had one that looked like it was three weeks old. It was so big and It was still born and then she had one tiny little adorable dot uh, That's what we called her was dot. She was a gender with black dots and uh, Looked like her the mom's daughter that we actually wanted to buy a year ago and uh, Just didn't work it out. We didn't get there in time. Somebody else picked her up but um You can't bottle feed pigs and if the mother abandons them there's very slim chance that you're going to be able to save them, but we gave it our all. Um, you've seen a couple of videos over on Facebook, maybe, where she's drinking milk and playing with the cat. Um, sadly to say, two days after that, um, there was just nothing left. There's no more fight, and uh, we just couldn't keep her nursed. She got back to She got scars. Gave her all the medicines, um, brought her in the house, up with her like, you know, we were with our own kids every few hours during the night. Um and as much life is created on a farm there is equally as much death that you have to deal with um and it's not a bit of fun but anyway that's not what this video is about that was just a short update of what's been taking my time so um i'm out here on i'll give you a shot around this is part of the back acreage of the land as you can see it has grown up and um i have just found Wild briarberries. Mmm, so good. So yeah, I'm gonna have to make sure I here's another one. make sure I remember where this is so I don't mow it down. Anyway, talk to a lot of people, mostly online, but that's where the world lives now. I know a lot of people about homesteading, farmsteading, farming in general. Um, some of the most important things that you need to start off. Especially once you get outside of just a little half acre plot with a garden and a few chickens. Uh, it was unanimous, <laughs> or mostly unanimous. Is there such a thing? I don't know. Tractor, number one need. So we spent several weeks looking um, for used tractors, something affordable, um, something reliable, something with the implements that we thought we would need. And I uh, just wasn't having any luck. The prices on tractors, you'd think they were made of gold. And uh, maybe they are, I don't know. Feels like it. So, I went on a quest in the new tractor market. Didn't want to. I don't like debt. I wasn't in debt until this. Well, technically, a little bit with the mortgage on the farm, but it's small and very manageable. But um, it came down to the orange machine which is uh, one of America's favorites right now. And I have to admit, I was really leaning in that direction and the green machine. Um, green machine has been around for decades. Um, they've made some changes in the past that people aren't real crazy about. I don't get it. Um, both those tractors come from Japan. Um, they're assembled here, but their parts, they argue with each other and compete with each other. Like one's done something wrong and is not American now. And the other one never was American. I digress. Uh, what it really came down to was availability. Um, John Deere was available. Um, Kubota was not. So we bit the bullet. I ordered a package and uh, we have purchased a 30, 32E John Deere. Um, it's got some stuff on it I'm not crazy about, namely plastic. Don't know why a company like John Deere opted to go with plastic fenders and a hood. 
I mean, technically, I guess if you don't drop anything on them, it don't matter if it's plastic or metal. But when you do drop something on it, it probably comes into play big time. But, um, but that's her. I went ahead and got a five foot Frontier Bush Hog. Um, now, this is not the heavy duty version, this is their basic brush mower. Um, if it can be tore up, I will probably tear it up because I am terribly hard on equipment. Um, plastic. Not crazy about that. I'll do an actual review. That seems to be something that people like doing and uh, watching and see how it holds up. Because I tell you, if this can hold up to me, it's pretty tough because I am rough on equipment. I always have been. Um, case in point, you saw where I was. It all looked like that. Well, about an hour and a half, two hours ago, all of this looked basically like that as well. Um, mind you, I am smart enough to not just be mowing over everything with the bush hog. I know what its size limitations are. Um, I'm learning, trial and error, exactly what limits I can push on those and how to operate it so it doesn't cause a hazard to give me a little bit more work in this thick brush um but fortunately the ground is soft enough it's very sandy a lot of these larger trees and all that i don't need to be just mowing over um case in point this right here i mean that's a three and a half four inch base and it's some weird awful hardwood i don't know what this is if you do this is the leaves it looks like some kind of oak it's got little thorns everywhere they grow out of control they grow everywhere um they get quite large um, but they are hard. Man, they are hard as bricks. And um, so, yeah, you don't mow over there. And they've got a really intricate root system, so you can't just scoop them up with the bucket and flip them out of the way. They require a little bit of work, but they will come up. And once they come up, they get to the side for a future bonfire night. Maybe we'll have everybody over or something. But anyway, that's where I am. That's what we're doing. Uh, just for kicks, I may give you a little footage of of it actually in in action just because you're probably tired of hearing me talk um, i'm getting tired of hearing me talk and uh yeah plastic still can't believe they went with plastic i got mad when tonka went to plastic trucks so i don't know what in the world inspired me to buy a tractor with plastic but a lot of good reviews online go find some in the meantime second wind farmstead we're on youtube that's where you're seeing this um, subscribe, follow, like uh, Second Wind Farmstead on Facebook. Uh, we are there too. My wife handles that page. You get a lot more information a lot more frequently than you do from me. Um, just because I never meant to do this on a regular basis, it was kind of a farce for um, some of the family members and uh, my whopping what, 16 subscribers now, I think. Thank you, new guys, gals. But, um, yeah keep growing in fact i've got a video of my wife who unless you know us you've never seen because she does not do in front of the camera stuff i have a video of her sitting right here in this seat driving this tractor the day we bought it um it is absolutely adorable i love it it's one of my favorite things i've ever seen. she did say if i get to ten thousand subscribers she'd let me post it um you will probably never see it but if you are going to see it, it's because you're going to like, share, and blow up this channel just to see that. And um, if you want to do that, go for it. I'm, I'm game. Um, because it's actually worth it. In the meantime, deal out, and we'll talk to you later.
Try to clear that off for you a little bit so maybe you can see. I'm sure it's covered with dust. Anyway, like I said, it's in the review yet. But um I got to say so far I am quite impressed because with a chainsaw and a burn pile, this would have taken me forever. Still got a ways to go. About four or four and a half acres, I guess. Um, obviously, I'm going to leave the bigger stuff. Maybe someday I'll get it logged out of here. I don't know. I might buy me a sawmill, and when I do, we'll get a video. We'll talk about that, too. And he's sitting here spending money like I've got it. Yeah, at least in my head, I am. Till next time. Till now. Thank you.